Hey, it's my first night sleeping in my Honda Element camper. I'm on the Blue Ridge Parkway at this 20 minute cliff. I don't know what that means. That's kind of scary. 20 minutes after sunlight strikes the rock face, dusk falls in the valley below. Okay, that's better than 20 minutes to fall down. Here is my beautiful Honda Element. We're calling her Opie, as in Element OP. Let me give you a quick tour. We go around back, open up the hatch. And there's a dog. Hey, Luby. You can see I have my bed on the right side. If I put my pillow on this side, I can look up at the stars, which is very nice. But I can also put my pillow on the other side and pet my dog whose bed is down there. I have some back of the seat storage to hold some wet wipes, uh, Kleenexes, her leash, and other things that I need immediately. There is the very necessary fan to keep airflow going, the O-Polar rechargeable USB fan that uh, just helps manage some of the condensation. I do have a little pull-down desk there, but uh, probably won't be using that except for maybe watching movies. I can pull that down, sit this way, and watch movies because I made this wonderful desk. This was built on a design from Amy is making stuff. Amy. Chen, I think you pronounce her last name. I've gone ahead and Velcroed a USB water faucet here. And it'll come out there. Just press this button and water comes out. And the jug already has a spout. This is a four gallon jug. The silicone tubing goes right into the spout. I didn't have to do any wiring, <coughs> any uh, drilling. I just had to get that 90 degree bend in there and it goes all the way to the bottom to pull the water out. This is a great Lucy light with a nice soft yellow kind of color. Feels like a, like a, almost like candlelight at camp. Loved using that last night. And it's also solar powered, solar recharger. This is a pillow cover that my good friend Heather made. You can find her online, Heather Taylor. So, isn't it pretty? I put my blanket in there. I also put the sheets in there, but I'll just get the sheet on. So underneath this desk is some storage. I purposefully made it without any shelf because I wanted to be able to put my backpacks in. I tend to store my things in backpacks. This whole thing is a outdoor pack. Got tent, got two actually sleeping pads, one for Luby, um, ultralight, kitchen gear. It's got a, uh, I think I have my hammock in there too. Well, that's what I go backpacking with when I have the chance to do that. And that over there, then I can put another backpack with my work equipment. I am a songwriter and a producer so one of the main things I wanted to be able to do is produce on the road so with this desk I can put my laptop here throw on some mixing headphones or even get some micro monitors that work in this space I'm thinking of doing that later uh, and putting up some removable audio uh, sound dampening pads in the windows kind of like people do with Reflectix but another layer of sound dampening. That's pretty much what it looks like here. I do have a little bit of storage underneath the bed. As you see, the bed is simply a four and a half inch mattress that I cut down to my size, which is only 64 inches, so it works exactly perfectly. And the frame is just the built-in element seat folded back, and it is super comfortable. To keep it from sliding to the left, which happened to my dog once, they all went off to the left, I do have that side uh, velcroed down with a huge 
luggage strap. And then on this side, it's just bungeed in to a hook. Underneath, I store dry food. There's a jumper cables. This is actually a piece of equipment that I want to install under the car to protect my catalytic converter. And behind that, I actually have a very small kitchen set up in a small crate, a half-size wooden crate. I've got a lot of little cubbies here built into the element, which Honda has been great to design. So I've got some elastic stretch cords there. Here I have, I think I have insect, yeah, insect repellent and some lotion. Let's close this up. Make sure we actually close that. Look around on this side. I'm using the front basically as a trunk. This element has so much storage, but because it's just one giant box and things fly around, it actually is helpful to have seats, some thing to block boxes and stuff from shifting forward and backwards. Uh, I'm giving this to a friend. <laughs> and there's another lightweight day pack with my fishing gear in it. This is something that has to go to UPS. I got a dog bag here with cleaning towels for her, paw cleaner, and a little tiny igloo cooler that I keep my cold drinks in. I like to freeze some drinks or water beforehand and then put that in to act as the ice and then um, add some more drinks. I also have the fruit in there. This is my ditty bag for my toothpaste, toothbrush. I have these sticky things up here. Well, I have one of them. And it just keeps Luby's dish here so that I can encourage her to drink. Hand sanitizer, very important these days. And then under here, I have this bleacher seat that is a click clack bleacher seat that can be at many different angles. This is supposed to sit on top of the crate and help extend this, so I'll have to fix that. I have some tools and more mechanical tools to install that catalytic converter protector. I do have a little crate under there just for extra storage, and I have some down uh, jacket and vest in there. And there's my adorable dog. So now I see what my new camper looks like. Hope you get to build one of your own. Or it gives you some ideas. Give me any suggestions below.